Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn about the differences between absolute positioning and relative positioning of elements on a web page. Before you can decide which positioning will work best for your page, you will have to learn a little bit about the theory of each. When you insert an element like an image into a web page, you have to decide how that element will be displayed on the internet when someone views your page. If you do not assign any positioning to your element, that is known as a static element. This means that the element will be displayed using the default settings of the browser or device used to view your page. Once you assign positioning rules for an element, for example, if I align this image to the right, the image ceases to be a static element because a positioning rule has been applied to it. The next step is to understand the difference between relative positioning and absolute positioning. Let's discuss relative positioning first. The example I just gave, where I aligned this image to the right of the page, is an example of relative positioning. This means that the image will be on the right of the page relative to the rest of the elements on the page, regardless of what type or size browser window is being used to display the page. With absolute positioning, on the other hand, you are giving very specific rules to the web browser concerning the display of your element. Instead of telling the browser to put the image on the right of the display, absolute positioning tells the browser exactly where on the page you want the image displayed. Also, it's important to note that if you use absolute positioning to set the rules about how your image will be displayed, the browser will display your image without considering any of the other elements on the page. The problem with absolute positioning is that, although you're able to set very specific rules about how you want your element displayed, different browsers will respond to absolute positioning differently. Consequently, your web page might be displayed in such a way that certain elements overlap each other or aren't visible at all, depending on the viewer's device and software settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.